Hello, good evening. How are you? How are you, Luis? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. We are going to get started, right? We are the only ones here. Ahorita somos los únicos por acá. <laughs> yes. Madrugadores. Yeah. <laughs> So let's get started then. Um, yesterday we stopped in the part of the enough and as well the two, right? Nos paramos en la parte donde estábamos viendo enough y tú. ¿Estoy en lo correcto? Yes. Okay. So vamos a continuar con eso solamente para dar la última parte de ello ¿verdad? y me van a disculpar porque al parecer el fondo creo que hoy no me está funcionando tan bien so let's see um, let's go ahead and I'm going to share my screen with you les voy a compartir mi pantalla en this one. diga diga alguien me habló Michelle, good evening. Good evening. Eh, hoy sí se escucha interferencia, como que es televisión o radio. O oh, probablemente sea el um, alguno de los compañeros. Ya, ya, ya lo, ya lo apagaron. Okay. Yo lo, sí, ya no, ya no se escucha. Gracias. Okay. Bueno. Sí, verdad, ahí tal vez sea el de alguno de los, de los compañeros, verdad, si pueden, este, yo sé que también están en sus hogares, verdad, igual que mi persona, eh, de alguna manera, pues, um, sé que otros están en otras actividades aparte de, la, de las nuestras y pues a veces ellos quieren ver su televisión o cualquier otra cosa, así que pues vamos a, si son tan amables de que ellos le puedan bajar un poco el volumen. Eso será más que suficiente, ¿verdad? So, let's see. Um, here I'm going to share with you, right? Uh, this is what I had for the one that is going to be enough and as as, right, what we were in study. So, this is for you to have a better perspective on it. Esto es para que ustedes tengan una mejor perspectiva en ello, ¿verdad? Um, el enough. Lo que estábamos viendo ayer. Eh, esta parte se las voy a desarrollar un poco en español para, para que haya una mejor comprensión y vamos a tener una pequeña práctica igual para que podamos pasar a lo siguiente. Enough, uh, comentábamos ayer que vamos a tener enough plus an adjective and enough, right? So first of all, it's going to go the adjective and then the enough. Primeramente vamos a tener el adjetivo y por último pues lo que es enough. Y aquí tenemos una pequeña pues... Oración, ¿verdad? The apartment isn't big enough. Y como podemos ver acá, este, pues, big, que es el adjetivo, va primero, luego tenemos enough. So, si ustedes gustan, ¿verdad? Hacer como que una fórmula. Si, si ustedes quisieran hacer una fórmula, entonces tendríamos en este caso eh, el sujeto, ¿verdad? El subject plus the verb. En este caso tenemos un verb plus el adjetivo más enough, ¿verdad? Este, así sería. Si ustedes gustan hacer como una fórmula, ¿verdad? Con el enough. En la primera, pues sería subject, verb, adjective, and enough. Y en el ejemplo, right, will be the apartment isn't big enough. Right? That one is the one that we have. Then we have another one or a second one with enough. Um, the same, right? Uh, we are going to have, the, in this case, uh, if you want to do like a kind of formula, you're going to have the verb plus enough and the noun, right? So here we have houses that don't have enough closets, right? So subject, the houses, the verb don't have, todo el junto, ¿verdad? Junto con el auxiliar. And enough plus the noun. Enough, ¿verdad? Tenemos acá. Y clauses, que es el noun, ¿verdad? Que era lo que estábamos viendo. En la número tres, pues no es enough, pero es uno parecido a él, que es to. Entonces, en este caso del to, right? Uh, if you want to do like a formula, once again, it's going to be subject plus verb plus to. After the two, 
we are going to have a adjective, right? So for example, I um, mean, here we can have a complement, right? A complement. For example, subject, the apartments, right? El sujeto sería el apartamento. Verb, are. To, como podemos ver acá, tenemos la palabra to, el adjective or adjectives, ¿verdad? A small, y un complemento for pets, right? Entonces, esto sería como parte del enough y del to para hacer lo que son las evaluaciones con respecto a algo, ¿verdad? No necesariamente casas, bueno, nosotros lo estamos viendo con casas, pero no necesariamente con casas. Pueden ser evaluaciones de cualquier situación que usted así lo desee y usted puede utilizar lo que es el enough y de igual manera lo que es el to, ¿verdad? Acá tenemos parte de lo que es enough. Is there any question regarding to this or is better like that? Así se entiende un poco mejor, está un poco más claro. Yes, yes. yes. ¿Verdad yes. que sí? Hay una mejor perspectiva de él. Muy bien. Vamos a ver el siguiente, ¿verdad? As, as. Que es tan como, ¿verdad? Um, here we have the very first... <coughs> Sorry, I've been kind of sick and I have so trouble. Eh, en el caso del primero, ¿verdad? The first combination that we have is as, as. As plus adjective plus as, right? Like for example, once again, another formula, you can have the subject plus the verb, right? You're gonna have the subject, oh my God, it moves. Plus the verb, plus uh, once again, right? As plus the adjective plus as plus a complement. Plus a complement. So for example, the complement is, uh, we are gonna place it here in, in parentheses, right? The subject two, because this one, since they are comparison, we need to have two things that are going to be uh, the same or most likely the same, right? En este caso, para hacer las comparaciones, pues van a tener dos. Por esa razón, en la parte de atrás les pongo en el complemento como el sujeto número dos, ¿verdad? Porque son dos cosas diferentes. Entonces, eh, si ustedes quisieran o desearan hacer como una especie de fórmula, tendríamos uh, subject, ¿verdad? El sujeto, el verb, en este caso que es are. Luego tenemos as. Pues acá el primer as, ¿verdad? Luego el adjective, en este caso del ejemplo es convenient. Luego tenemos as, once again. Y por último, el complemento o el sujeto número dos de la oración que es apartments. So, ese sería como la primera combinación en as, as. Sería as plus adjective plus as. So, we have houses are as convenient as apartments. Um, let's remember, like if you have to, two things, they have to be, both of them are gonna be plural or both of them needs to be singular. Ambas de las cosas de las que usted va a estar hablando, ¿verdad? En este caso debe de haber una congruencia. ¿Cómo así? Si pues el primer sujeto, ¿verdad? Como nosotros lo tenemos acá, houses, sería pues lo que es plural. El segundo sujeto también debe de ser plural. De igual manera, su verbo debe de tener la concordancia a plural, ¿verdad? Eh, hay que fijarse eso. Eso solamente es con cuestión de escritura. Veamos el siguiente, que sería as many plus count noun as. Once again, right? Just in case that you would like to have a formula, right? Um, here you are going to have subject, right? Plus verb, que es el verb have, ¿verdad? plus, once again, as, plus many, plus the count noun, plus as, and here we are gonna have the complement or subject to, that I'm gonna place it here due to a space, S2, right? Les voy a poner acá, por cuestión de espacio, S2, que sería, pues, sujeto número dos, ¿verdad? So, for example, in this one, right, subject or the subject number one, apartments, right? The verb have, luego tenemos as many, then we got the count noun, expenses, as houses, 
¿verdad? Entonces acá pues tenemos el sujeto 2 que son las casas. Y es aquí donde tenemos la segunda formulación, o en este caso la, la, la segunda de as as, o la segunda combinación de as as, que sería as many más un nombre contable más as y pues el complemento número 2, ¿verdad? Si ustedes quisieran hacer una fórmula, de esa manera iría estructurado para hacer una comparación, ¿verdad? ¿Hay alguna pregunta concerniente a estos dos primeros o estamos bien hasta ahí? Estamos bien, teacher. Estamos bien, ok. Vamos a continuar entonces. Then we have here as much plus non count noun and as, right? Um, once again, if you want to write, I never thought that we can use a subject, right? But just in case that you might be asking on, we are gonna have this one plus once again in complement. And S2, right? Uh, here no me alcanzo el espacio. S2. Let's see, let's do it a little bit. Here we have, right, uh, as much plus non count now and as, right? So, esa sería como la tercera combinación, as much plus a non count noun as in the complement two or the subject number two. For example, in this one, right? Houses, it's going to be the subject number one. Don't have is going to be the verb. As much is the phrase that we already have. And privacy is our non count noun, right? Then we have as, and then the subject number two, in this case, apartments. En el caso de esta, verdad, tenemos eh, los sujetos. Y acá lo interesante es que el as much va a ser con un nombre el cual no se puede contar, verdad, o no podemos contar. Entonces, en este caso, pues tenemos privacy. Y es como el anterior, con la única diferencia que el nombre o el count noun es uncountable, verdad. O el nombre, el noun, is uncountable noun. So basically that one here are going to be the, the structures or the ones that we were just uh, giving a quick study yesterday. I wish to know if you have any question regarding to this or is good, it's very, it's clear now, it's better now than yesterday. Si está mejor que ayer. Está mejor que ayer, teacher. ¿Está mejor que ayer? ¿Poco sí, mejor comprensible? Más comprensible por la estructuración que nos está haciendo aquí, de cómo, cómo uh -huh. poder colocar la estructura de cada, en cada situación. Ok, perfecto. Me parece entonces. Entonces, si está mucho mejor, intentemos hacer algunas oraciones, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer algunos como práctica. Eh, no sé si puedo pasar al otro documento. Ustedes me dicen o si hay alguien que está tomando nota o si quieren que les envíe el documento más noche cuando terminemos. De igual manera yo se los envío. ¿verdad? Se Por los favor. puede enviar si lo quieren tener. Por favor. Bueno, está bien. Entonces vamos a pasar a lo siguiente. ¿verdad? What do we have here? I have here just like a two houses, right? A Victorian houses and a cottage. Um, do you know what is a cottage? No, teacher, what does mean? A cottage is a very small house, um, like the houses um, that you have in downtown or, for example, uh, poor. like mine, right? <laughs> like mine, <laughs> looks like a cottage. Um, son casas bastante pequeñitas, son casitas, la verdad. Um, Acá no tenemos como que cottage, to, para serles honestos. Allá son casitas como de campo, ¿verdad? Pero son pequeñitas. Entonces esas son las cottage, son casitas. Son casitas bien chiquititas. Entonces okay. son como casitas de campo. Uh -huh. Sí. Acá no sé eh, si tendremos algo parecido a un cottage. ¿Alguien, alguna idea? Muchas colonias, teacher. 
<laughs> My house is a catash, I know. <laughs> only, only one room. <laughs> only one room, yes. In this um, country, no, you no, know it's what? Cottage. It's mini cottage. Uh huh, yes. Uh, well, es que el cottage, ¿verdad? Puede ser como el diminutivo de casa, casita, y también es una cabaña. Pero. Bueno, en realidad las cabañas o lo que nosotros tenemos entendido como latinos como cabañas son otras cosas, ¿verdad? Un poquito más grandes que una casita. Entonces eso es como una casita bien chiquitita, ¿verdad? Entonces es una casita de campo, pero ni siquiera una casa de campo de la de acá, ¿verdad? Porque usted se vaya por chalat y todo eso va a haber <risa> such a big house, ¿verdad? Right? So, <risa> doesn't sure. make a kind of sense. Sure. Just tell me. Eh, eh, esa... A cottage, como que la de Harry Potter va, donde sale Harry, no sé cómo que llama. Una casita, así que... <risa> Harry. <risa> the yes. big one, the guy that yes. is a very good guy. Yes, Harry. Harry. Very good I know. <risa> It looks like, right? He has a dog. I don't know, I don't remember his, the name of the dog, but it's a, a, a girl, if I don't mistake. Tiene una per, un perrito, una perrita, parece que es. So, yes. I know, I have read Harry Potter, right? So let's see, uh, but basically that's the idea, right? Here we have some, some adjectives, right? There are 12 adjectives or in nouns as well. They are combined between adjectives and nouns. And we have the description of each of the houses, right? The Victorian and as well the Katash. That someone would like to read the Victorian house description, this one. ¿Alguien podría leer la descripción de la casa victoriana? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Modern and spacious Victorian house. There are four bedrooms, four bathrooms, a whole house kitchen. Huge. 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 A yes. huge kitchen and a spacious living room. Two car garage is a is it is very private and it is located on a quiet suburb. Mm -hmm. It is 15,000. Is good, teacher? Yes, you can say 850,000 per month. Yes. Or per month. Okay. Yes. Good job. Yes. So this one, right? Uh, this one is private. 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 Uh, private. private. Okay. Yes. Private. When you have plurals, uh, do the S at the end, right? Cars. 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 Yes. Cars. Si solo me dice car, es uno solo. Entonces, cuando, okay. hay, cuando está la S, exagérenme la S, ¿verdad? Cars. Cars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bien hecho. Muy bien, gracias. Thank you, Milton. So, let's see. Welcome. Um, we have, oh, thank you. We have the Katash. Who would like to read the Katash? Me, me go ahead. Okay, go cottage. Ahead. A small ordinary cottage, two bedrooms and one bathroom, a small kitchen and crap and living room. It is located on a noisy area of the city. This is combined to the train station, one car garage, 380,000 380, per month. Oh, okay. thank you very much. So this one, right? Convenient. 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 Yes. Convenient. Yes. Good job. Thank you very much. So very good job. You're reading really good. My congratulations for that. So let's see. Um, like for example, if we need to use enough to compare the Victorian house and the Katash, how you will do it with one of the forms that we have about enough. ¿Cómo harían ustedes eh, una oración con enough comparando la casa victoriana y el cottage con lo que tenemos nosotros acá, verdad? En el caso de, uy, no, this is something else. En el caso de esto, verdad? En el caso eh, de enough. Cottage, si tuviéramos que comparar las dos. The, the cottage isn't big enough. Uh -huh. Isn't big enough, okay? The cottage isn't big enough. Thank you. There's someone else. Alguien más? 
con alguna de las estructuras, ya sea con la primera, con la segunda. Cottage are too small for people. Are too small for people. Ok, the cottages are too small for people. Thank you. Ok, están demasiado pequeñas para las personas. But for a family, I think that is so many, 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 or too small. Let's see. Uh, what about another one? Regarding to either the Victorian or the Katash with anyone's, uh, for example, uh, enough, or you can do the comparison to or as us. How you will do it? Katash um, is done ex very expensive in. Um, Comparison, Victoria House. <laughs> okay, the Katash is, uh, okay, in the comparison with the Victorian house, but let's see it. If we want to use expensive, how you will do it? Let's do it with this one. Katash is too expensive for people, for example, right? Podríamos hacerlo así. The cash is too expensive for people. We can say it like that. If you want to compare the cash and the Victorian house, you seen as us, right? Remember that this one can be either a good comparison, right? Or a not too good comparison, right? Okay. The Victoria house are mm -hmm. convenient as a Katash house. It's convenient as the Katash house, right? It's as convenient as the Katash house, okay? Another one that you might think that we can use. Another one. What about the either the count nouns or the non-count nouns? Uh, the Victoria, no, the, the cottage house don't have as much privacy as Victoria house. As much privacy as the Victorian house. That's good, right? And for the town now, how you will do it? For the contable, como lo haría? The Victoria house have mm -hmm. as many expenses as cottage house. Okay. Thank you very much. So in this one, thank you, Gerardo, for being participating and for everyone that is giving their opinion as well. So any questions so far regarding to this, if you have it or now it's a little bit clear, better. I'm gonna transfer the, here, right, uh, the image for you to have it. So I'm gonna paste it here in the document so you can have it with you if you want to do a little bit of practice regarding to the two and off and as well with two houses, right? And different nouns or different adjectives with enough to and as as, right? And I'm gonna send it to you this particular document. Is there any questions so far or something else? or any comment that you might have? No, teacher, for the moment, no. No, everything is no. good? Okay. Yes. Yes. So if everything is good, that's so wonderful. So we are gonna go to the next slide. That is gonna be the next part or the last part in the session number three. Que va a ser la última parte en la sesión número tres. We are going to have the dialogue and the dialogue its name making changes, right? We are going to have Brian and Terry talking. Quick question. Are you able to see the letters very well or they are too small? Pueden ver las letras eh, bastante bien o están muy, muy pequeñas? No, it's, it's good. It's good. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So if they are good, that's wonderful. Si estamos bien, pues está muy bien. ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a poner el audio. Let's see. We are going to play the audio. Just one second. There we go. 
And here is the one that we are going to be in studying this and today. Please uh, pay attention to the audio. I'm going to share the audio from my computer so you will be able to listen the conversations. Part A. Are you able to listen? Yes? Yes. Yes. All right. Listen and practice. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? Okay. Let's see. Would you like to listen and once again? Yes. Yes. Awesome. So let's listen. Again. Yes. Part A. Listen and practice. So are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. <coughs> so, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? Okay, so let's see. Is there any question or you would like to listen it for the third time or is enough? Les gustaría escucharlo por una tercera vez o está bien así? Okay, teacher, again. Again, all right. So pay attention. Page there. 19, exercise 8, conversation. Making changes. Part A. Listen and practice. Give me just one second. Are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? Okay. So, let's see. Is there any question regarding to the vocabulary? Okay. A phrase, teacher, and a phrase. So... I'm afraid so. I'm Let's afraid see. so. I'm afraid so. Ese es uh, como en el buen español diría, me temo que así es. ¿Verdad? Como en el buen, en el buen español, ¿verdad? Me temo que así es. ¿Verdad? I'm afraid mm -hmm. so. Sí. O es como, um, déjenme buscarles otro más. Como que latino, ¿verdad? Porque en el buen, en el español eh, de España, ¿verdad? Sería ese, ¿verdad? Afraid of, me temo que sí. Pero en un buen latino, ¿cómo lo diríamos nosotros, los latinos? Lamentablemente la triste verdad. Lamentablemente la triste verdad, ¿verdad? La triste verdad es de que sí. Ajá, entonces eso. Gracias, muchas gracias, Miguel. Entonces, eh... La traducción tal cual es me temo que sí, ¿verdad? I'm afraid so, me temo que sí. Entonces acá es como que, pues sí, ¿verdad? No tengo de otra, ni modo, ¿verdad? La triste verdad es de que sí. Entonces eso sería el I'm afraid of. El I'm afraid so. Así es. Any other one? Okay. 
En, en board. En board. En free room. En board. Board. Free room and board. Aquí, ¿verdad? Board. Es este, como casa y comida. ¿Verdad? ¿Y a ah, dónde más okay. le dice voy a obtener <laughs> casa y comida de gratis? ¿Verdad? I'm sorry. I will, I will problem teacher. Oh yeah, Every, right. <laughs> he wants to he have has a good problem, free. a big problem. A big problem, right? He doesn't want to move from his parents' house because uh in there he I, has free food, right? And free bed, right? He doesn't have to pay a mortgage for it. Yes. So basically it's because of that. That's why he doesn't move, right? Even though he said that he hates housework, right? The house chores, they are not easy, honestly, right? Whenever you are doing the house chores, but anyways, right? You need to. Another question or everything is fine? It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So I would like to ask just two volunteers that who would like to be one Brian and the other one Terry. I am Brian, teacher. Okay, thank you, Miguel. So Miguel is going to be Brian, and who would like to be Barry? Terry? Me, Terry. Me, teacher. Thank ah. you, Gerardo. Okay, Gerardo takes it, right? So go ahead. It's your time. The microphones are yours. Go ahead. Okay. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I am afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to home before midnight. Midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move it all? Hey, I wish I could be where else can I get free room on board. And board, right? Thank you very much. Um, this one, the, the background of me is not working fine, right? But I think that you are able to see me. Does someone else would like to participate? ¿Alguien más le gustaría participar? Ok, teacher, me. Who, Milton, thank you, Milton. So, Milton, you're going to be Brian. All right, who else said me? ¿Quién más dijo yo? Me. Oh, ok, Alfredo, right? No, no. Mauricio. Oh, Mauricio, go ahead, Mauricio. So, you're going to be Terry. I'm Brian. Ok, no, you Terry, I'm Brian. Milton okay, is going to be Brian. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Okay. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm friends, so I wish I had my own partner, apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents, I like that. And they expect, expect me to help around the house. I hate the house work. I wish life weren't so difficult. So yeah. why don't you move, move it? Move it. Move, hey, move it out. Was... Move out. Move. move out. So why don't you move, move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room on board? Okay, thank you very much. Good job. Pretty good pronunciation, right? That's wonderful. The only thing that I will say is that you can practice your, um, well, um, not the pronunciation in this one, it's going to be just your intonation and fluency, right? Um, lo único que les pediría yo es que practiquen un poco su intonación y su fluency. ¿Por qué la intonación? Porque la entonación se escucha plana, ¿verdad? Se escucha que va así, plana. Entonces, um, en este caso, lo que se hace es 
sentir la emoción, ¿verdad? De la pregunta. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? Se va hacia arriba, ¿verdad? Va hacia arriba. Entonces, ahí le dice, why, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Mira, ¿y por qué, verdad? So, why you don't move out? Entonces, esa, esa cuestión, ¿verdad? De sentir eh, la emoción de lo que se está diciendo para que se lo escuche natural. Eso es lo único que, pues, eh, les podría decir. Eso se agarra con práctica, ¿verdad? Entonces, hay que practicar un poquito más porque pronuncian muy bien, lo hacen muy bonito, el speed está bien, pero en eh, lo que es la entonación, para que se oiga natural, las pasas, y pues también un poquito más eh, de fluency para que se les oiga natural, ¿verdad? No, no tanta pausa, sino que un poco más natural, ¿verdad? Así que solamente eso, por lo demás, mis felicitaciones, todos lo hacen muy bien. Let's continue then. Is there any question with the dialogue or something else regarding to the dial or everything is fine on that? Everything is fine on the dial? Yes? Everything is fine, teacher. Everything is fine, okay. So let's see. Um, here we have something that we are gonna be studying that is the bird, which, which as you might know is the bird desear, verdad, en este caso en español. Mm -hmm and which is most likely for things that are not happen or they are not happening in real life, right? So basically they are being used as the word itself to ask in wishes, right? Something that we would like that it can be in that way, but it's not happening in that way, right? So um, here we have some examples, right? Use which plus past sentence to refer to present wishes. Aquí lo que nosotros tenemos es que es el uso del wish más el pasado simple para referirnos a deseos que tenemos nosotros en el presente, right? So let's see. I wish I didn't live with my parents, for example, right? So this is not going to happen regarding to Terry. Then we have, I wish I had my own apartment, right? Do you have it? No, he doesn't have it, right? I can move out. I wish I could move out, right? So um, then we have, I wish it were easier. I wish it weren't so difficult, right? So here we have different things that we can use. We have something for the very B, where is used with all of the pronouns after wish. En el caso del verbo be, fíjense que es bien interesante porque en este caso con el wish usted va a utilizar where con todos los pronombres personales. Aquí no utilizamos el was. It can be used because uh, native speakers does. So, but it's not very common. If you want to use it, you can use it, right? I wish it wasn't easier. It was easier, right? It can be used. But let me give you another example because I know that these ones in the grammar one, they are kind of, well, they are kind of tricky and difficult, but let's see different examples that can work for us. Let me go to the document and I'm gonna erase our house. For example, it says that we are gonna have wish. So in here we are gonna have, oh, it's too small. Oh God. Okay. Let me give you like a kind of formula. Are you able to see it or is it too small still? Se ve bien o está muy pequeña todavía? Okay. Okay. Yo sé que algunos, uh, they are blind like me, right? Ya dan un poquito, eh, la vista la tenemos cansada y también yo veo las cosas bastante pequeñas, por eso yo les pregunto, ¿verdad? So we got the subject, right? Vamos a ver el wish. Um, let's see. Let me place it here as a title. Right? We are going to have a subject plus wish, right? Plus wish. Plus another subject, right? Or a personal pronoun. Plus verb in past tense. Plus a complement, right? 
And don't forget the point at the end. So this one is going to be like a kind of the composition of wish, right? So we say that it must be something that is opposite to our reality, right? So there is not in reality something that we want that it can be in that way, but it's not happening like that. So let's see an example. I'm gonna place here just one sentence. For example, I don't speak Italian, for example, right? I don't speak Italian. Right? So I don't speak Italian. This one is my reality, right? This one is the reality. Let's say that this one is the truth, right? This one is my truth. I don't speak Italian, right? I wish I can speak Italian, but I can't. So let's see. If I want to do it with wish, it's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, let me place it in different color. So I'm going to have here my wish, right? I wish. I wish. I spoke Italian, right? And that one, this one is my wish, right? I wish I spoke Italian, right? And here, let's place it within parentheses my wish right these are the wishes right i wish i spoke italian right what we say the subject the wish right the very wish the subject once again the bear in past tense and the complement which is italian right so in that way is uh, the one that you are going to be uh, structuring the sentences whenever you are wishing something right <clears throat> yes is it simple? Do you see it difficult? Or is it better like this? What it's do you easy think? Too. It's easy, right? Mm -hmm. It's easy. easy. Yes. It's yes. easy. We just have to remember, right? We just have to remember. Let's do another one. And um, let me place it here. I have another one. I... Don't have a big car. How will be your wish? I wish. I wish. I. I. I have. Have. Had. A big car. A big car, right? Yes. I wish I had a big car, right? I wish I have a big car. Yep, let's see, yeah. right? That's simple, right? Pretty yes. simple to use, yes? Okay, so let's do another one. And this one is just only for fun, right? So let's see it. Uh, It's only one state, right? Y aquí queremos que ya sea el weekend. ¿Cómo le dirían ustedes? ¿Qué me dicen? Quisiéramos que fuera el weekend. O deseáramos que fuera el fin de semana. I wish a weekend right now. I wish. ¿Qué decíamos del verbo be? Decíamos algo interesante del verbo be en la lámina anterior. ¿Alguien lo recuerda? Se usa where. Se utiliza where. ¿Con qué pronombre? Con los, con los plural. Was, is he, she, it. 
Ok. Sí, es cierto. Sin embargo, acá estamos hablando del Wednesday. ¿El Wednesday es una persona o es una cosa? ¿O es algo? Por decirlo así. Algo. Es algo, ¿verdad? ¿Qué pronombre le corresponde? It. It, it ¿verdad? It wear the weekend. The literature or the grammar rules says that whenever we are using which, you're gonna use where in the simple past for the verb for all of the pronouns. It doesn't matter which one you are using, right? Yeah. Or which one do you have, you need to use where. However, however, there is an assumption, right? That you can say. This is like a kind of perception. Right? I'm not saying that it's not correct the number one. We are going to label it as the number one and this one as the number two. Both of them are correct. The only difference is that the literature or what the grammar rule says is that whenever you are using wish in all of the personal pronouns, if you have the verb be, it's gonna be where. However, native speakers, they tend to use was whenever they are talking about wishes, right? So basically it's gonna depend on you, which one do you want to use? Because none of them are incorrect and none of them are the real truth, right? So in este caso, ¿qué es lo que pasa? La literatura o la gramática nos dice que cada vez que estamos utilizando wish y tengamos el verbo be, usted va a utilizar para todos los pronombres personales el where. Sin embargo, los hablantes nativos, ellos utilizan pues el verbo be con el pronombre personal que le toca y no hay ningún problema. Entonces acá, ¿verdad? Si usted quiere utilizar where, si usted quiere utilizar was, is up to you. No pasa nada, ¿verdad? Ambos están correctos, ambos pueden ser utilizados. ¿Cuál de todos es la verdad simple? Una persona aficionada a la gramática le va a decir, no está correcta, ¿verdad? Tu oración no está correcta, por lo que nos dice la gramática. Pero otra persona, native speaker, le va a decir, sí, está correcto, ¿verdad? Una persona aficionada a la fonética. Entonces, pues, eh, ninguno de ellos es como que la verdad central, sino que ambos están correctos. Así que puede utilizar usted ambos. Uh -huh. Teacher. Probably sí. in, in, in Londres, it was, is, is bad for day. They oh. are, they mm -hmm. are the English is very, very fine. Yes. Uh, well, when I'm saying native speakers, right, I'm referring to the guys from the from London, right? En el caso de los hablantes nativos, eh, no solamente nos referimos a los americanos, ¿verdad? sino que también a, a los londineses. Entonces, um, en este caso, es posible que usted le escuche a un londinés hablarlo de esta manera, ¿verdad? de la número dos, y escribirlo de igual manera, de la número dos, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, como les digo, no, no es ninguna de las dos es la correcta, ni ninguna de las dos es la incorrecta. Ambas están bien, con la única diferencia que grammar, right? Um, in grammar, the number one is the correct one, right? In grammar. But, okay. yeah, but it doesn't make any differences. I mean, I've been always... Uh, being honest with you, I've been always listening to this the second one instead of the very first one. It's something rare that someone tell you uh, where, right? It's very rare that someone tell you where, and you already know that probably this person has studied grammar before. So, um, but it depends on, right? It depends on. You can use the one that you feel comfortable with or the one that you remember with. Yeah, I would say it in that way. 
Is there any other question or any other comment? Yeah. No. Oh. No, everything is fine. Okay. So with which, uh, since we already have here, right, uh, the structure, is there any question with the structure that you might have or any curiosity or everything is fine with the structure? Mm -hmm. You tell me. ¿Tienen ustedes alguna curiosidad con la estructura o algo más? ¿O estamos bien? Sí, ¿We are good? Oh, one question, teacher. Go uh, ahead. The, the verb is in past always for the structure for the wish. Yes, the structure and okay. wish is going to be always in past. In this one, uh, probably whenever you are advancing on your models, you are gonna be uh, studying which with different past tense, right? Like past perfect, past continuous and so on. But always is going to be in past because this one is uh, like a kind of the opposite of my reality. It's something that I would like that it can be happen, but it's not happening in that way, right? So that I want to, but it's not happening. It's like when someone is far away, I don't know if you have ever heard this one that says, I wish you were here. I don't know if you have ever heard this uh, phrase, right? I wish you were here whenever we miss someone, right? So it's something that we want to, but it won't happen, right, somehow. So basically is because of that, right? It's in the part of that, yeah. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Lo van a ver, pero creo que sería um, en el próximo módulo, ya casi terminando el intermedio, cuando vean los otros tenses. Yes, there is a possibility. Yeah. So then this one is like the, the basic structure of wish, right? If you notice or if you get realized regarding to this, we have uh, the models in this case or the model uh, can and as well uh, the one that it would be one, right? So in this ones um, are the past tenses of the, the, the models. Whenever we are using these ones is gonna be depending on your sentence, right? In the caso de los modales va a depender bastante de su oración, right? Um, if you have can, which is showing an ability, uh, here you will need to use, right? Um, the one that it will be cool. So this one is gonna be depending on the sentence, right? Um, let's see. Veamos. Um, wish plus models, let's say it like that. So I'm going to have basically the same structure, but not the same. Yes, I'm gonna place here for you one. I can play the guitar, for example. And this one in the structure, it's gonna be the subject, right? For this one, it's gonna be the subject plus wish. Plus once again, another subject, right? Plus cult. Plus the complement. Plus the complement. Oh, but here, sorry. There. Plus the complement, right? So here, uh, this one is going to be with the model, right? Which is the model of this one? The model is can, right? 
or cannot, which is an ability. So in the case that you have this one and you want to convert it into a sentence with which I will say, I wish I could play the guitar, right? So in here is uh, the one that we have. Let me just move it a little bit so you can have it a better perspective on it. Okay. There is a little pegadito to here. Okay. Yes, I moved this one. I wish. I could. And there we go, right? Here we have the sentence. Let me place it into a light blue color. Mm. Sorry, it's too light. Okay, this one is better. So for example, if you have a model, right, uh, like can't, so you can use it with the word wish, and it's gonna be in this structure. In the past, since we need to have the past with can, what is gonna happen is that our model is going to go in past, which is going to be cult, so the verb is gonna be staying the same, the same, right? Since all of the models, with all of the models, the verbs are in the base form. And then you're gonna have the complement. And here is gonna be my wish, right? With the model can. So here uh, it's gonna depend on you. What do you want to say? I'm gonna place here base form so you can remember. So this one is gonna be depending on your sentence, which what do you want to say for what do you want to use it let's remember that can is for abilities right something that we can do right something that we have the ability on so in el caso de wish más los modales ustedes pueden tener pues en este caso el modal can verdad que es por lo general habilidades para eso se utiliza habilidades algo que usted puede hacer o que no puede hacer Aquí dice no puedo tocar la guitarra, ¿verdad? Si yo quisiera decir yo desearía poder tocar la guitarra, lo voy a hacer de esta manera. ¿Cuál va a ser la manera en la que lo voy a hacer? Ah, pues bien fácil. Usted va a tener la misma estructura o la estructura muy parecida a la anterior en el cual va a tener su sujeto, va a tener el verbo wish, va a tener de nueva cuenta el sujeto, que soy yo o la persona que lo esté haciendo, pero su modal va a cambiar al pasado, que va a ser culto. Recordemos que con todos los modales, su verbo va a ir en su forma base, ¿verdad? Entonces, ese no sufre ningún cambio. Cool ya me está diciendo que es pasado. Entonces, acá, pues, yo tengo play the guitar. Y ya el complemento que sería tocar la guitarra. Entonces, este sería wish con los modales, ¿verdad? Yep. Thank you. Thank you yep. Better? Yes. Right? Yes. So, um, is there any question regarding to this? Something else? No, everything is fine. Is okay, so mm -hmm. tomorrow uh, we are gonna have the midterm exam. I know that we are gonna finish the midterm before that the class end. So we are gonna have a practice tomorrow on the wish thing, right? So please, if you have, right? If you have some time during the afternoon or during the morning, make a wish list, right? Something or things that you would like to have or things that you would like to do in present, right? So you can convert them whenever you are talking to your partner into wishes, right? ¿Qué es lo que me gustaría que hicieran? Si tienen tiempo en la mañana, por la tarde, o en su hora de almuerzo, háganse una pequeña listita de cosas que desean, ¿verdad? Eh, como las que estábamos viendo an anteriormente. ¿Cómo serían? Pues como estas, ¿verdad? Las que tenemos en, en verde, las verdades, cosas. Y pues para cuando vengamos el día de mañana y terminemos el midterm, pues ustedes puedan hablar con su compañero y lo hagan en wish, right? Utilizando wish. Así que ahí sí tienen tiempecito, ¿verdad? Si no, no hay sí, problema, sí. eso es algo. Dígame. Sí, sí. Yes, yes, Tomorrow... Tomorrow will be the national sale. The national. At nine. 
Oh, yes, yes that's 8 true. PM. At 8 p.m. at the class time. Yes, national team, national yes. team. Yes, it's going to be, uh, there will be a match, right, between the United States, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes. It's the United yes. States. Yes, it's the United States. Well, the middle class in study. <laughs> yeah, I wish that we can change right the schedule and we can have the class on Friday, but I don't think that they would like to us to do that right? because of the mash. So, well, I I I wish I wish it was win. Okay, I wish. I wish they. I win. They, they 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 were won. They won. They won. Mm -hmm. they won only. The match. Yes, they won the match. Yes. I wish, I wish they, they, they won, won the match. The match. The match. Yes. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we wish, right? I hope that they can do at least one. <laughs> they never do more than that. <laughs> yeah, you know, but anyway. But, yeah. Could, could you share the presentation for the WhatsApp group? Oh yes, uh, I can share the presentation with you. Uh, this one is gonna be a little bit huge because uh, here we have what we are gonna be studying after the midterm exam, which is gonna be on Thursday. And, uh, yeah. Only uh, only the screen and this only the screen the this class. Just only this class. Uh, which this one? Class. Uh, this the, the wish the number no the, the 30 31 and only. uh 30 31 32 and 33 because mm -hmm. those ones are the wishes right mm -hmm. uh that one yeah. is from wish yeah. or do you want to have yeah. just 31 and 32 see yes only two only two okay yes mm -hmm. i can go ahead and do it okay. do you want to have the picture yes Yes, all right, so not a problem. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So is there something else or any other question that you might have before that we call? No, everything is fine. Know. So then if everything is fine, have a wonderful night. It was nice to see you, take care. And if you haven't eat, go eat, rest and relax. We will see us tomorrow. Take care, bye-bye. Okay. Oh bye-bye, bye-bye, take care. Bye-bye, take care. Bye. 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 Bye.